So today I'm going to show you how to record your microphone on Windows. Uh, this will work all the way back to Windows XP and all the way to the newest like Windows 10 and all that uh, because of this free program called Audacity. Uh, it's free and simple to get online. Like uh, I would suggest getting it from 9night.com. I'll put a, a link to that in the description where you just click Audacity right here and then hit get your 9 Night and then you, it'll automatically install it for you. But it's also free right from the Audacity website and stuff like that. It's just the easiest, easiest way to get it. So once you've downloaded and installed it, um, you'll see this window right here, like when, when you run it. And it looks pretty crazy by, uh, by default, but uh, most of these features you won't have to use and you'll get used to it over time. So the very first thing uh, is that you need to select your microphone right here. So like I have a Blue Yeti microphone, so that's that one in the list. Uh, whatever yours is, it should pop up in the list. If you have multiple ones, they'll all show up and you can just select the one you want. And uh, then you just can set your level of uh, the volume right here. So if the uh, microphone's too quiet, you can adjust it up. If it's too loud, you can adjust it down. So then once you have your microphone selected and your uh, audio level selected, then you just hit the record option right here. And you can see that it's recording my voice right now as I speak. And then whenever you want to stop it, you just hit stop right there. And then it has this saved audio from when you hit record to when you hit stop. And if you want to play it back to kind of see <clears throat> what it actually captured, you can just select anywhere, like this would be all the way back at the beginning, and then hit the play button, and then it'll just play it back to you. Uh, similarly, if you want to delete just a section of it, you can just highlight it with the mouse like that, and then hit delete. Um, and then if you feel like you messed up on the whole track and want to start over, you can just hit the X right here, and then just record a new track. It also supports some crazier features like if you want to do like some multiple layers of audio if you have one recorded if you just hit the record button again you'll see it starts another layer and then if I were to hit the play button it would play both of these at the same time and that's what it would save out to a file as well so it supports a lot of crazier stuff but just for simple like just record your microphone basically just hit the record button hit stop when you want to stop and then uh, we just need to export it to an audio format so if you go to the file uh, menu here, you're gonna see save project. Save project just saves your Audacity project. It doesn't save it as like a .wav file so you can play it back on something else later. So this is what you uh, save it as while you're still working on it. But once it's finished and you wanna be able to play it on something else, you go to the option down here that says export audio. So when you select this, you're gonna see that there's gonna be a whole bunch of different options here. So WAV is just the normal one, it's free to use and everything, so uh, you can just select that and save it, and then there's a lot of programs that will play that back. A lot of people prefer MP3 files. The problem with MP3 is it's not a free format, so you actually have to install an extra file to make it be able to use, uh, to be able to export to MP3 files, which I'll do a separate video on how to do that, so for now I'm just gonna show you how to do .wav and show that it works. So I'm just gonna select .wav here and then just name it anything. I have it saved to my desktop, so it's gonna pop up right here when I'm done. So just hit save. Um, all of this stuff is just optional. Like it's just mostly there for like bookkeeping and copyright stuff. So I'm just not even gonna fill it in. I'm just gonna hit okay here. And you can see just after a second that the file popped up right here. And then I don't have it set up to record my system audio right now. So like I can open it with uh, VLC and play it, and you'll see it play, but you can't hear it obviously, so. But it did work fine, the exporting worked fine, so. Um, that's really all there is to it, to uh, record your microphone on Windows. Uh, you can save it to plenty of other formats and everything, but, uh, and like I said, I'll do another video showing how to save it to an MP3.